Welcome. Today I'm going to give you a commentary on yesterday's workout that I did, which was about two hours. Uh, but I got about uh, an hour and a half of footage for you guys to see. And uh, it's mostly uncut. So it's just raw training footage. And uh, you can see me here starting out with the rows, seated rows. I like seated rows. I'm not sure why a lot of people don't warm up with cedar rows because uh, it involves your entire body, your, your arms, your legs, you know, just pushing, uh, pushing with your legs and pulling with your arms. I, I think it's fun. But what I don't know, what I notice is that a lot of people don't really play around with the row. As you can see in this footage here, I want you to pay attention to my arms. I want you to see what they're doing. They're constantly changing. So I'm constantly changing the grip on the row bar. And uh, the only reason is for stimulation because you can do this for however so long, but it's just one motion with your arms. So I like playing with my grip. I do one arm. You can see I do the other arm. I do this grip here, this grip, this grip, this grip. You can see me doing variations, like you can see like that, pull it in, pull it in into my elbows, grip. Play around with the grip. Why not? I mean, there is no rule saying that you have to do this T-Rex pull throughout the exercise. All right. So that's my take on rowing. I mean, it's not that hard. Anybody can do it. I mean, you, there's a setting... Uh, on the machine going from level one to 10. So you can set it on level one if you're inexperienced or you don't know what you're doing. Just play around. And do you have to be like full on intense like you see like on in other videos? No, you don't have to go like 100% when you're rowing. You can start slow. It's just like driving. You know, you're not going 100 miles per hour constantly throughout your trip. No, you're starting from zero then to 5, to 10, to 20, then back down to 20, then back up to 30, and then back down to 5. It's it, it fluctuates, right? Same thing with rowing. You don't have to do like a constant 100% per, all the time. So I'm just pulling. I'm just, just getting the blood going, right? I did this for about 5 minutes. Usually for rows, I do about like 10 to 15 minutes on a good day. Uh, but this day, I just want to get through quickly in the warm -up because here's another thing about my workouts. My workouts are uh, high intensity interval training hit. You probably heard of it. It's just nonstop go, 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 no resting. I just go. So my entire workout is a cardio workout because I don't give myself time to, you know, breathe or relax. All right. I'm just constantly moving, constantly moving my body. And you'll see it in the footage. All right, so yeah, I'm you can see I'm playing with this grip, that grip, moving up. I'm changing the speed, intensity. I'm trying to twist my body, so I'm trying to work on the the torque, right? So twisting your body, so pulling one shoulder in front of the other, like so. Okay, get that involved as well. Get your core involved. Okay, you can get your core involved when you're rowing on the machine. Try it; it works. So pulling with one arm is a lot harder than you think. So, so I play with that variation. Pull, pull, pull. Yeah. Looking good. I look good. <laughs> I know I'm complimenting myself, but I do. I do look good. And uh, this particular machine, I like it. Uh, some older machines, they have like a bicycle chain. So I mean, it makes an annoying crank sound, but this machine is pretty new. It's pretty modern. Uh, it's got like a, just one uh, rope, so it doesn't make any sound, So which I like. Okay, so I'm, I'm finishing out the, the row with a, a punch. So you can pull and delay it and then throw a punch. It's good for boxing. Try it out. So, so you pull as hard as you can, and then you get that slack. And then with that slack, you return it. You return the... the the cable back but instead of slowly gradually you, you throw it in there okay i don't see anyone doing this nobody i don't see anybody doing this okay so that there's my my secret okay so throw it 
throw it back into the machine, okay? So I didn't wipe that machine down because I didn't have a sweat. Fun fact, if I sweat, then I wipe it down. Okay, now this thing, <clears throat> I, tried it, <clears throat> I tried it out for the first time. And my instinct was to punch the targets because I'm a boxer, right? But those targets aren't really good for, for punching, okay? First of all, there's no shock absorbent, <laughs> okay? So you're just hitting metal. So I think you're supposed to touch them. So that's so that's lesson learned. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just I'm just activating my core. I'm not really thinking about sets or reps. I'm just feeling it. When you've worked out for so long, it's all about feeling. It's like you've been, if you've driven, if you if you can drive a car, you've been driving for so many years. You know this. You're not thinking about how much pressure you're applying to the gas pedal. You're not thinking about how many left turns you're making. You're not thinking about how many times you need to turn the wheel this way or that. No, it's all feeling. The distance between the car in front of you, how to merge and all that, driving on the highway, feeling. Okay, now this machine, this machine, I, I couldn't figure it out. This, this was a new machine for me trying out for the first time. I didn't know what I was doing, which is fun. I was just playing around, okay? If you don't know what you're doing, just play. You don't have to ask anybody. How to work the machine? Just, just figure it out. Play. Okay, no one's gonna scold you for doing it wrong. So I was, I was trying to figure it out. Doing this, this. You, you're supposed to crunch them both together, but I couldn't. And I think I, I set it up properly. I wasn't positioned right onto the machine. And I can see now from this position, you can put a weight on the on the leg extension part. See that? See that part right there? Yeah, you can add some plates, so more resistance. But yeah, okay, now here's the thing. I'm warming up my hip flexors. You see this? Do this. Do this exercise. I don't know why people don't warm up. Like in general, but here right now, I'm warming up my hip flexors, okay? Why am I doing this, okay? One, your hip flexors are involved in a lot of exercises. Okay, they're they're so underrated, they're underdeveloped for most people. Okay, now I'm warming up my wrists here, because as you you know, probably later foreshadow. Spoiler alert: I'm going to be going upside down, which means I'm going to be in a handstand position a lot. So I need to warm up my wrists. Okay, now I've got a fixed barbell because this gym doesn't have any sticks or staffs. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just warming up my core, my torso, okay, just twist side to side, okay, if, usually I, I have like a, a wooden stick at some gyms, which is better because it's longer, if I had a broomstick, you could do that, but if you don't have one, then improvise, okay, so what I'm doing here, fixed barbell, it's 20 pounds, okay, twist side to side, and I'm just warming up, okay, warming it up, warming up my body, okay, you can see it there, there is no set routine. It's just all feeling. Okay. Hip flexors again. Feeling. Just, it's like testing out the parts, components of an airplane before taking off. Okay. You have to warm up everything. I, I don't understand why people just go straight to the weights and start cranking out four sets and all that really hard, heavy without warming up or stretching. I, I don't know how long you're going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to do this later on in life. So stretch. Okay. I'm still warming up. Okay. Now watch this exercise right here. Okay. I'm stretching my triceps here. That's one, but you're going to see in a few seconds. Okay. Here it goes. Boom. Boom. Nobody does this in my gym or any gym. I enter this exercise right here. Okay, yeah. The power of Thor. Okay, that exercise. It's a mace. It's, it's a mace exercise. Okay. Uh, if you're East Indian, you know this exercise because this exercise probably originated from India. Okay. A lot of Indian strongmen way back in the day in history. The great Gama. 
he did this. Okay, now what I'm doing here, okay, I'm just ri warming up this part right here, my wrist. Okay, you can warm up this part, which I see in general, but nobody warms up this part, okay? When you're doing handstands uh, using a grip, like a bar, you need to work out this motion here, warming up. Okay, squat, deep squat, going back to twist. Okay, so do you see what I'm doing? I'm not stopping, I'm just going back in a cycle, okay? So I revert back to the first exercise and then back to the second. Because your body will tell you when you're ready to move on. Sometimes it's one minute, sometimes it's five minutes. You just got to keep moving it until your body says, I'm ready. Okay, so each arm, I do this exercise. Right, it's kind of like a pendulum or a TikTok. Okay, and then I do it in the vertical. Okay. If you are serious about doing handstands, do this warm up, right? That I'm showing you right now. This will warm up your hands for gripping the bars when you're going upside down. Right? I don't see anyone warming up like this. Seriously. It looks great. Again, that's a 20 pound fixed barbell. If I had a stick, it would be lighter. A stick would be like, I don't know, five pounds. Uh, you can get a stick from like your mop, just your mop extension if you wanted to. Uh, second thing is, I'm thinking of going to a hardware store and getting a stick, like a lumber. Uh, yeah, just cutting a, lum a stick lumber there. I do need one. Staff training, bow staff training. Very important. I should get it. Yeah. So, okay. So, yeah. Going back to twists. Yeah. Stretching my shoulders out. Shoulder extension. Side to side. I don't see anybody doing side to side. Side to sides are very important too. Okay. Just try to lean to one side. As far as you can. Okay. Twist. Down to one side. Okay, now this exercise here is warming up the wrist, the bicep, the arm individually. Looks cool. I like it. And then the reverse, okay? The reverse is a much harder to do, okay? Because it, it, you're going like this to the bar. You're cranking the bar like this. Okay, so... Start off with this motion here. Okay, it's just gonna, it's just warming up your wrist. Like I saw this done by a lot of uh, Russian. Who was that guy? Uh, Better be of Arthur Better be of the Russian boxer Dagestan. I think he's from Dagestan. Anyways, from Montreal. Yeah, okay, undefeated boxer. Okay, yeah, he started doing it with a, a barbell, and then I started learning it. Okay, so you can do it with the fixed barbell. You can do it with the regular barbell. But yeah, okay, I'm stretching tricep. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah. That's good. Oh, going back to the mace exercise. Ooh, that works. That is a total body workout in itself. Okay, if you could do this, this mace workout for like 20 minutes, then you're done. You don't have to do anything else. You get such a burn in your entire body doing the mace. Okay, stretch. Stretching, there you go. Steep squat and stretching the shoulders out. Constantly, you need to stretch. You can't just sit there and idle, standing there and letting your body, your body is prone to injury. The less you stretch, the less you warm up, okay? Warm up and stretch. If you have nothing to do between exercises, warm up and stretch. Keep warming up and stretching. Warming up and stretching. Moving your body. Motions, okay? I do this constantly in between exercises, okay? Stretching, stretching, stretching. Everything stretching. As for a stretching routine, you need to develop your own routine, okay? It's just like me telling you to brush your teeth. You can brush your teeth, but it's not going to be the same as my way of brushing my teeth. Okay, I start from the back, or you start from this side. You, you spend more time here. Okay, everyone's different. So you have to develop your own stretching routine. So all you can do is 
see what other people are doing, and then come up with your own routine. Same with the workout. You don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing, but you can borrow from me and others and come up with your own routine. So, twisting again. Boxer. Boxers always do this. Twist, 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 twist. And stretching. Uh, I recently injured both of my Achilles tendons. Uh, I looked it up. It's called Achilles tendonitis. Okay, it's just overuse. It's just painful walking with the injured Achilles both. So I had the, I had athletic tape on. Okay, oh, this one. Exercise. Good for MMA fighters throwing punches. So I did, uh, I had to take a bit of a break from walking and running due to that Achilles tendon injury. Did a lot of cycling instead as an alternative. So cycled a lot. Cycled and rowing. Uh, fun fact, you can swim as well. Swimming is, yeah. Every person who's injured on dry land goes to swimming. Everyone. That is a fact. So if you're injured, swim is my suggestion. If you can't, if you can't walk, you can't run, you can't cycle, swim. Swim, swim, swim. If you can. Best thing you do you can do if you're injured. And I did swim a little bit. Okay, so Ooh, warming up the neck. A lot of people don't do that either. Deep squat, and I'm probably going to do some Cossack squats. Okay, stretching from one side to the other. Stretching, oh, stretching the wrists too. You, you probably noticed that I'm wearing wristbands on both wrists. Why do I do that? Because to prevent injuries, because I'm always in this position. A lot of gymnasts, they wear wristbands too. Prevent injury for the wrists. And it looks cool. Okay, I'm doing some Cossack squats, just stretching. I'm doing this with my foot. Okay, don't just like, don't just go into a stretch and pray for the best, okay? Just, you go into a stretch and you can flex your ankle. Okay, that help it helps lengthen the muscle. Okay, going to a deep, deeper, deeper squat. Deeper, 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 deeper. Okay, play around. Uh oh, dip station. Okay, this dip station was funny. Yeah, yeah, I'm going into handstand. Woohoo! This dip station was um wobbly, and you'll notice that some dip stations like these that look like these are wobbly there's nothing you can do really it's not like a table you can put some paper underneath okay so I'm swinging you can see it, it's wobbling a lot I notice it da, 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 da. okay so just uh, warming up the core this is just basic swings okay if you're going to do some sort of dip exercise why don't you warm up first warm up your shoulders Okay, getting a good stretch. Stretching the hamstrings. I always stretch the hamstrings, okay? Bruce Lee is always like in this position. If you look at his photos on set, in between sets, shooting takes, he's always stretching. And that's what he, he, he promotes in his books. To always stretch, okay? If you have nothing else to do, stretch. Hip flexors. Okay, now I'm just trying to experiment. I'm trying to go the opposite way. But I noticed that, yeah, my foot hits that bar, which I didn't see that in that footage. When you go in the reverse direction, you get a wider, uh, more space to do a handstand push-up. Okay, so instead, I do this instead. Okay. So you notice that in the beginning, I raised my, I was lifting one leg up. Uh, so it's preparing for these kind of exercises. For example, okay, just uh, raising the legs up. Okay, like that, that. This is a gymnast move right there. 
Okay, just getting the hip flexors, activating, activating the core muscles. Get a good stretch on the shoulders again. Always stretching. Always stretching. So I'm trying to figure out this mach this uh, dip station thing because there's a bar. Usually there's not a bar, a straight bar up there. I don't know why this one has a straight bar. So fun fact about Planet Fitness is that all their these their machines that you see are are made by Life Fitness. Now Life Fitness, Life Fitness, if you don't know, is a very popular commercial gym uh workout machine maker okay it's like the brand for all commercial gyms so all the equipment that you see in planet fitness okay okay here's what i'm doing uh big tuck planche just warming up warming up still in warm-up phase so all these machines are made by Life Fitness, and uh, Life Fitness is pretty much the go-to brand. Oh, pretty good. Nice. Now, that was my first time trying that, actually. Uh, I was looking for a dip bar. They don't have any uh, parallel bar, parallettes this gym so i just use that okay now i'm doing this warming up some steps side to side shift side to side shifting your weight side to side i'm grabbing that handle as you can see you don't need to grab the handle but i, I just do it it helps me to twist the other side this is the 30 minute zone fun fitness i don't see i rarely see it being occupied and uh, it's brightly lit. And uh, it's becoming one of my favorite spots because I can train in there without butting heads with people. See, I gotta walk around. I walk around a lot because I'm thinking, constantly thinking of the next thing. Okay, okay, again. So let the, let the blood cool down and walk around. And this again. But okay, so my Achilles are still in pain. So this is this exercise is hard for me. Because I feel that sharp pain in my Achilles still. But I'm I'm doing my best. Okay, and this one. Steps. You could do a warm-up like doing this for like five, ten minutes. Instead of going on the treadmill. And get much more benefit. So you're powered by your own body. It's good. Do do do. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. You can carry a weight, you can hold the weight. All right, now this part of the gym, here I go. Here's the problem see that ceiling? It's too low. So I'm limited to what I can do, as you can see. So I'm just testing out the height of that, the ceiling, before I start cranking out something. Okay, so I like every gym has, oh, not every gym, but this Life Fitness functional station is pretty, pretty common in most commercial gyms. Yep, that. Okay, so what you can see right there is I did a muscle up and uh, I'm resting my shoulders on that, that, that main bar. So you can get into a planche. But my hips are too high. So I'm working on planche. My goal is to achieve a full planche. It's going to take some time. I'm still working on it. I'm still doing pseudo planche push-ups. Tuck planche. But full planche, it's going to take a few months. Hard work. Okay, so stretching resistance bands. Still stretching. Yeah, my arms are huge. 
And I don't really lift heavy. All that muscle you see is from body weight mostly. Lifting my own body weight in the air. Holding my own body weight in the air. Okay, so isometrics, overcoming isometrics, is the key. Okay, twisting again. You know, wrestlers do this side to side. Boom, boom, just stretching, stretching. There is no pattern. Just moving around. What's good for my body? Doot, 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 doot. Yeah, I wish this this gym had a high, a taller ceiling. Yeah, I mean, I'm just hitting that ceiling constantly. And I'm just walking around, okay? So I'm just pacing. Don't like to stand still. What am I going to do? Uh, okay, full grip. Muscle up. Up. Those bars are pretty narrow. So it's hard to do, hard to get in between the bars. You do a regular muscle up, so you have to do a full grip. And then I'm just testing out the height of the ceiling again. As you can see, I'm very, it's very limited. So even in a squat position, I'm going to hit my head if I lift my head up. So other gyms, I can do a full handstand. Not worry about hitting anything up there. They never thought of that when they built this gym. Probably. Someone like me. Okay. Stretch, stretch. Constantly stretching. Oh, yeah. Stretching preview. Back bridge. Up. Boom. If you don't stretch, you're going to ache a lot and you're just going to get injured. You won't even be able to do this consistently if you don't stretch and warm up. Battle rope. This battle rope is pretty short. And, uh, yeah, I'm just playing around. It's short and it's lighter than other battle ropes I've used. So this is like easy mode for me. Yeah, this battle rope was thinner and lighter and shorter. So it's for the complete beginner probably. Because they want to be able to throw it fast. Really fast. But I, I like to slam it hard like a slam ball. Well, side to side. By the way, if you're wondering, why am I talking into this mic instead of speaking to the camera in the gym? Uh, last video I made, I was mic'd up. I was, commenta I was commentating, and uh, the music in the background was playing so loudly that that video got copyrighted. So it got demonetized. <laughs> so all that effort was for nothing. So I'm trying this version here, talking to you guys like this, commentary. So just warming up. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm not sure. What will I do? Probably something. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Here I go. Boom. Muscle up. Boom. That. Bump. Bump. Handstand. Boom. See? You can see the limitations, right? I'm hitting that ceiling. So I, that's the limit. I can't push up. Okay, so going into dumbbells. So starting, that's probably like 20 pound dumbbells. I'm just warming up. Just getting a good warm up. Now you can see the variations I'm doing. Just playing around. Playing around. Getting a good stretch, moving my arms. 
here, there, everywhere. Okay. Again, I'm not trying to build muscle. I have too much muscle. I'm too bulky and too heavy already. I'm trying to be light and quick, fast. You can't be light, quick, and fast when you're heavy and bulky. So I stopped living, lifting heavy a few years ago, just focus, focusing on body weight and calisthenics and gymnastics. See? So in the back. No pattern, no sets, not counting reps, I'm counting the feeling. A lot of you stop at 10 to 12 because you're told to stop at 10 to 12 reps. But do you feel tired after 10 to 12 reps? Do you feel you can go further? Ask yourself that. Me, I'm just constantly just trying to go further. Find some new dumbbells. Which ones I'm going to pick up? Uh, a little bit heavier ones. Go again. No breaks. Bump, bump, bump. One arms. Single arm. Bump, 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 bump. Both arms. Bump. Again, you can criticize my form all you want or my technique. I don't care. At the end of the day, you're not. It's not going to be perfect. You're you're supposed to fail. That's how you grow is through failure. You, you're destroying your muscle fibers, so that they will die, and then new ones will grow stronger and bigger. Boom, 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 boom. boom. What am I doing? Uh, okay, adjust that. Grab some water. What am I going to do? Ah, uh, yeah, back stretch. So, if you are struggling with um, back bridge, do assisted back bridge. Okay, hip. Hip flex. Okay. Single leg. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Activating the hip flexors. Okay, double. This is hard. Hard, really hard. Circles. Leg of the other. Okay. Make it stronger. Strengthen. Stretch. That's a crab stretch right there. Seated. Okay, so bent leg, hip. Bent leg is easier, obviously. Bent leg. Boom. 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 Yeah. One hip over the other. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do like, see this back bridge, right? No, I don't I don't see anyone doing this exercise. Okay, this is good for your back, back bridge, for your chest, the whole body. Boom. Okay, so I'm just getting into deep squat and then into a back bridge with a dumbbell. Boom. And then reset on tippy toes. Balance. Balance, balance. Can just controlling the whole movement. I think that's a 35 pound dumbbell. Control the movement. Okay, you don't want to be out of control in this exercise. Okay. A good stretch for the chest. Yes. Oh, looking all the way back. Back bridge. Good for uh, back handsprings, this exercise, okay? Controlling, strengthening your body. 
Boom, boom. Boom. I could go further with that dumbbell. I can I can touch the floor if I wanted to. Dude. Dunk. Like that. Good. Uh if I'm not controlling this movement, I'm gonna fly forward. Or fall backwards. Okay, but I controlled it. Good. Control is key. Uh, and then, okay, so during my break, what do I do? Crunches. Okay. Boom, boom. Alternating legs. Crunch, crunch. Crunch. Crunchy, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay. If you have nothing to do, warm up, stretch, or do abs. Three things. Okay, hip raise, lifting it up, lift the other hip up, looking good, okay, mm, yeah, flutter kicks, uh, Stretch. If you can't do a pancake stretch, do a seated pancake stretch, okay? Anybody can do this. A seated pancake stretch. Working on the flexibility. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. So you can see it, the key to my workout is not heaviest weights. It's volume just tons and tons of volume hundreds and hundreds of reps that i don't count hundreds and hundreds of sets that that don't exist I just keep going it's just dripping water like water can crack a rock in half just drips of water can can break a rock into half into two if Given enough time, centuries of time, volume, just constant volume is key. It's what sets me apart from everyone else. Uh, I'm doing a one-legged hamstring stretch, hurdle stretch. The other one, hurdle stretch. The question is, how many sets do you have left? The, the answer is, I don't count. You can see in the footage, I don't count. I just keep going. That's the honest to God answer. And people get pissed off when I tell them the truth. And again, don't bother anyone when they're working out, okay? Let them work out in peace. I don't bother anyone, okay? I don't bother people when they're eating in a cafeteria. I ask them how many bites you got left. I don't bother them in a restaurant when they're eating how many sips of coffee you got left. I don't bother people when they're parked in a parking lot how many minutes you got left. Don't force people to move, okay? Don't rush people. Just leave them be. Let them train in peace. It takes however long it however long it takes. Even if they're just goofing off playing with their phone, I don't bother people. And I don't like people bothering me when I'm working out cuz working out for me is like meditation. It's like praying. In a church, or meditating, it has to be done alone. It has to be undisturbed. No loud music, no TVs, no yakking. It's just you and pain and failure. That to me is working out, okay? Just being at peace with yourself. Training, just doing the do, do, doing. Doing, failing, learning. You can do, you can see it, you can listen to it, you can observe. Doing is the best. Doing it even if it doesn't look good. Don't worry about people, other people criticizing. You just do it. And you'll learn. You'll learn over time. I'm looking at this footage and like, ah, uh -huh, I could have done further. I, I could have done it more better and blah, blah, blah. But there's no perfect. No perfect workout. No perfect exercise. This is, not the Olympics. 
This is just you and prayer. This is me in meditation mode, prayer mode. Just listening to my body, feeling it. I'm going to make a part two because this video is very long. Okay, so if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll talk to you later. All right, but uh, thanks for watching.